Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on, um, why do I have a hard time remembering this collection? Mm, we are here. We are here. <laughs> I say it with so much confidence, don't, don't I? This is Stamparia's collection, and I can't find a cover sheet. So here we go. Our way. Our way, not we are here. And this is page two. Sorry about that. So this is a cut apart from the 8x8 collection, and then uh, this is also from the 8x8 collection. Uh, but I'll go over that in a little bit more detail as we put everything down. So I've got um, what are double flaps. So it's a, a flap that's folded in on itself, and I've got two of those. So let me give you the measurements. And one is going to go, good grief, on the top, and one is going to go on the bottom. There we go. So, so you can see that it's going to get attached here, fold in, and then close. This is eight and a half by eight. Eight and a half by eight. You're going to score a half inch and then four and a half. And then what I did was take a teeny tiny sliver off. So I made sure that it fit inside without bowing. Okay, so here's my pick tool. So again, this is going to go on the bottom. here and this one is going to get attached like so okay and it looks like it looks pretty good. I'm just double checking to make sure everything looks nice and square. Okay, so this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack and it's gonna be our base right here. And I inked all the edges with mahogany. Double check, I've got this right side up one more time. Yep, that's peach. One on the other side. This is from the 8x8 collection pack, and I took an 8x8 and split it in half to inside. I believe that this is the right one. Nope. I need to put a magnet here, so let's do this first. Almost forgot.
Okay, we're going to have this overlap like so, and there is a magnet on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this. And there's our magnet. Okay, so I'm going to glue that down. Actually, I want to go a little further up. There we go. And it's about center. Okay, now I'm going to put a glue dot on here and then we'll close it, find it over here. these glue dots so long they're kind of goopy. They're not peeling off as nicely as I'd like. Okay, there we go. And now we're ready for this piece, which still has some glue on it, but I'll add some more. Oops. Okay, now oops, the inside is going to be this pattern. One of them's a little bit smaller than the other because we trimmed just a little bit off here. So I was just trying to make sure I've got the right one in the right place. And I do now. Yep. Eight by eight. This is also from the 8x8. I think this is pretty, reminds me of a kind of a antique wallpaper. Okay, so there's our nice beautiful spread there. And then the last thing is this. Let me double check my layout. off here. Mm. 
much better. I decided to start using um, this applicator. I'm not crazy about it so far. Thinking, hoping that I can get my um, ink to last a little bit longer. I usually just use the pad on the edges, and I like that because the, the whole picking up one more thing kind of slows you down. So we'll see. Might be worth it if I can uh, economize on my ink usage. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to repeat this process on the upper, but there's the inside, the inside, and then that's what it's going to look like in the closed state. So I'm going to shift everything down. And we'll start on the inside. Let's see, one of these should be a little bit smaller than the other. Maybe it goes this way. There we go. Once again, from the 8 by 8 just split in half. Sorry about that. They're very similar. Uh, one's just a little bit, like I said, smaller than the other. So when I went to lay down the second one, I saw that it looked like it needed to be trimmed, and it shouldn't be because I'd already trimmed it, so I just laid them down in the opposite as needed. Okay, now this should fit as it is without any trimming, and it does. This is pretty. It, the colors remind me of fall. Oops, need to scoot that down a little. Okay, and then, yep, this goes right here. There's our closure. That is page two. Lots of room for photos. Um, these panels are four by eight, so you can definitely put two three by threes easily in that uh, in that location. So that's pretty. And again, this is a cut apart from the eight by eight. Everything essentially on this page is eight by eight, with the exception of this base. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Be back soon with page three.